Well, I'm starting with this photograph that most experts believe is Vincent van Gogh. And the reason I'm going to start with the photograph is I'm going to point out some very specific things on his face, on his clothes, and on his uh, hairline structure that'll be compared to in other photographs. But more important, they're going to be compared to uh, Vincent's self-portraits. And it might show the reason that this is believed to be the photograph that Vincent uh, took his self-portraits from and used this as a subject. This is a photograph most experts believe to be Vincent van Gogh. I'm going to show you some close-ups in here of things around his face, his uh, whiskers, his ears, his hairline, his eyes. His collar folds in the jacket, and specifically a sty on his eye. And when I compared it to the drawing from the from the uh, Van Gogh Museum when it was on exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum of Art a few years ago, uh, I really came up with something I was happy with, and that's to see that there was a sty on Vincent's eye. And when I bring up his uh, when I bring up his uh, drawing, you'll be able to see that sty very clearly. And there's other things too, this hairline and this widow's peak. Well boy, in the same drawing I'm going to show you, 1870 drawing by Vincent, 1877 actually. It'll show the uh, this part of his hair drawn exactly whisker by whisker. It's going to show these whiskers hair to hair. The ear is going to line up exactly and it's exactly the same ear. And uh, his eyes are perfect. Except the one thing that went wrong when he did this because of the times in the 1880s and 90s, there wasn't really much control of light. So what happened was, as the light came in, as the light came in onto his cheek where his nose is, it sort of uh, lost all connection. There's no line on the side of his nose that he can compare to his cheek. So what he wound up doing, as you'll see in the drawing, is just making it a little bit, uh, he made his own line for the ridge of his nose. And he, and he happened to make it a little bit bigger, but that's, maybe that's the way he saw himself. Well, this is the 1887 drawing. And I'm going to start off just by uh, looking at that sty on his eye there. You see it underneath? Well, it's amazing that he painted that sigh, but he wouldn't have if he didn't have one. And sure enough, as the photograph shows, he had one there. That's the basis for him painting a sigh on his eye. Otherwise, uh, I don't think he would have ever done that. And his ear, of course, as you can see, is just uh, drawn exactly as that ear is in the photograph. Here's another little amazing piece of evidence. Those hairlines coming down from his lip, coming down from his uh, mustache, are identical to the hair in the drawing, as you could see. Kind of something, isn't it? Oh, 
see how he drew his nose in a little more bulbous? Because he couldn't actually see where it was from the photograph because of the light. <clears throat> comparing that jacket to that jacket and that collar line I don't uh, see any difference at all actually with the uh, when the photograph the negative of the photograph was laid over the painting every line every collar line every face line uh, recorded to be the same Well, here again we see that jacket again, and uh, what's very obvious here is not only the collar line and the way the jacket is buttoned, but the drapes in Vincent's jacket, the folds just by his shoulder, right there, turn out to be exactly the same as there. And the button, of course, is not buttoned uh, all the way on top. Well, here's something. It's the photograph on the top right and the drawing, Vincent's drawing, on the bottom right and two of the self-portraits on the left, top and bottom. And I guess it's pretty easy to see scanning around here. You know, the furrows between his, on his cheeks and his uh, frown marks between his eyes and the, his cheekbone exactly the same again the whiskers and the lips but that sty right in there that's pretty important because I don't know if Vincent would have uh, drawn a sty on his picture if he actually didn't have one so I would imagine he must have had his photograph taken I can just imagine how excited he was running home with the new subject to work with. Well, you can see for yourself, this is a comparison of uh, the drawing on the lower right, photograph top right, and two of Vincent's uh, self-portraits. And as you can easily see, the ear is uh, drawn in painted in and uh, looks pretty much all the same you know that's the same ear that uh, Vincent painted from that photograph it's so easy to see well here you can compare for yourself The nose, the whiskers, the uh, collar lines exactly the same on all of them. See that collar? There is some suspicion that uh, Vincent might have traced this from a photograph. Maybe not this photograph, but maybe a photograph uh, a little bit larger. Maybe he had a larger one, life size. You know, just like his paintings. And that's very possible. And living as he lived, who could say? 
who could say if uh, that photograph disappeared or how it disappeared or where it went?